So one thing that does happen, especially with these pipes being out in the sun, is they get this build up of algae and stuff growing. I mean, if they weren't clear, I wouldn't get that, but I like them to be clear so I can see the water going through and I know what sort of flow I'm dealing with. But one of the problems is every now and then they get full of gunk. I do have a little trick for cleaning it out. So I'll show you that and while I'm at it, I'll do this one too because it's quite gross. And if I'm gonna cut these cable ties off, I might as well. What's up, buddy? A little lizard. I'll get him. Lost him. Hey. Don't touch that lizard. So basically you just want your dishwash, cloth, you don't want it to have any chemicals on it. I know this one's clean. You need to get a little bit off. This little bit is gonna be stuffed into the pot. You want enough in there so it's snug and quite tight. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the pressure of the hose to send it through. And you actually see as it works its way, all the gunk gets forced out. Sometimes some residue will get left behind. So you either make the, the piece bigger or you just run it through several cycles. Now you'll be surprised about the pressure of the hose itself and how much you can get. Um, sometimes you, you can duct tape it on if you need to, but you just run it through like a snake and out comes all your gunk. So you do that once or twice, it's not labor intensive. It's quite easy and uh, job's done. I keep this bit of sponge around. I normally keep a different bit of sponge around, but I couldn't see it. So I'm not sure if the, the missus disposed of it for me. I made this one quite big, so the pressure's hard to hold, but you can see it works. Your hose will overcome every time. Just depends on your grip strength and hey. Dog's trying to eat the camera. As you can see, pipe looks like it's brand new. Buffy, hop out the water. Come on. You don't need to drink that water, that's pond water. Any running water she loves. Finished looking? All right, we're gonna do the other one. So what you can do for bigger pieces or little pieces, or just if you don't have the grip strength, is use a little bit of electrical tape, duct tape, any sort of tape, the stronger the better. And you just tape, tape her up. The biggest problem with using the tape is if you want to do several passes to get it cleaner, you have to untape and retape each time. That's why I try and use the grip strength if you can, but I know that's not an option for everybody I've shown. All right, I got this all set up, ready to go. We'll go turn the hose on and we'll see um, see how much we can clean out. So I just actually broke my camera tripody thing that I used to hold the camera. So I need two hands to do this. It's quite hard one-handed holding this and then trying to do stuff. So you've seen the idea, you get the general gist. I'll put it all back together and um, see it all work. No. Gee whiz. Hey, if you get wet, you can't come back in the house. Doesn't care, playing with the ball. You're a good boy, buddy. Stay out of there. And there we have it. All put back together. Nice, clean, clean hoses. I didn't do this little section from here to here, but the rest of it, you can see. Nice and clean, lovely. Couple minute job. Just falls in your routine maintenance. There's probably a few ways to do it. 
probably a bottle brush type thing on a wire or something, but that's the way I came up with the first time I've faced the problem and that's why I've been doing it ever since. So, hopefully that helps some people out. As always, thanks for watching.